Hey guys, this is DiffJam90. Uh, I know I haven't done a lot of reviews lately. I just moved to a new house, obviously, because uh, you guys have never seen this before, but this is my new workshop area. I had a lot going on for the past few months, uh, so I know I haven't gotten a lot up. Uh, I haven't really been able to keep up with uh, Rap 217 and Junkstone 395 a lot. We're starting to get back together, do more wars. Um, what say? Oh, yeah. This weekend we're probably going to do some wars we've been doing for the past couple weeks. Snow all just melted, so all our snow bases that we made just melted. But, uh, so we'll be doing some reviews, some wars, probably some work on airsoft fields that we've been making. So I'll be doing a review on my newest gun, which I'll show you in a second. I'll be doing a personal arsenal review, and we might do a full Ace Zero team review. So I'll show you how I got my guns hung up hung up now. I got uh, my Stinger R71 Crosman. I've got my uh, P99, can't remember the company, probably Crosman. I got my uh, Smith & Wesson M4505. And then I got my newest assault rifle. It's a compact folding stock. I got this ACOG scope for 60 bucks on all this gun right here. I got on Mega, Airsoft Mega Store. Great website. This is the D-Boys PDW. It's a nice gun. I'll take it off real quick and show you. It does, for those of you who are concerned about federal law, I, this does come with an orange flash hider. I will grab that and show you. I keep some of my tools and stuff in here. This can, it comes with an orange flash hider, so it's not a problem if you want to keep the orange one on. I just think the metal one, the gray one, looks cooler. Um, it also comes with folding sights. It does not come with the ACOG scope. I bought that separate. It comes with normal folding sights. And then it also, they're full metal. And then it comes with a barrel extension. But the barrel extension is extremely hard to change. I still haven't figured out how to do it. I just got this yesterday, though. So I'll figure it out eventually. I'll watch, probably watch another review. But uh, that's pretty much this gun. I'll be doing a full review on it this weekend. Um, I got a bunch of extra mags with this. Uh, I also ended up getting a smart charger, something I definitely recommend. I mean, I wore down this bat. This is a 9.6 1600mAh battery. I wore this down, so it was completely out of juice yesterday. And the smart charger charged it up in an hour and a half. That, that's how fast this thing is. I will definitely recommend getting those. But So anyway... This weekend, it'll be me, possibly Rav217, definitely Jones10395, and I'll see you guys this weekend.